Hi everyone and welcome to Nico's Kitchens Classics where I recreate some of my original videos for you. Today I'm going to be making the first ever video that I uploaded here to the Nico's Kitchen channel. And of course I'm talking about my spaghetti and meatballs. So guys, the first thing that we're going to do to get started on my spaghetti and meatballs, just into a large pot, we're going to start making our sauce. So first thing is just some olive oil, and I'm going to be putting in some onion that I've just roughly chopped up. I'm also going to be adding in some bacon that I've just chopped up as well. Now I love bacon in the sauce, and this is not an authentic Italian recipe, this is just something that I've been cooking for years and years and years and my friends and family keep coming back for. Now I'm just gonna season with some pepper. I'm not gonna season with some salt because the bacon is quite salty. And I'm also gonna be adding in some garlic paste. And just give that a good mix around. And I just want you to cook this down for about two minutes, just, in, just until that onion starts to soften. So once the onions have softened, the next thing I'm gonna be adding in is some chopped up mushrooms. And again, just give that a mix around and just cook the mushrooms for a further minute just until they just slightly soften again. Now the onion, the bacon and the onion is cooking along nicely and now I'm going to be adding in some tomato paste. And next I'm going to add in a can of chopped tomatoes. And very last I'm going to be adding in some chopped parsley, some fresh parsley. Now what I want you to do is turn the heat down to low and I want you to simmer this for 20 to 25 minutes. So while our sauce is cooking away there, we're gonna get started on making our meatballs. Now with my meatballs, I just use beef. And it's an 80-20 split, meaning it's 80% beef, 20% fat, because we still want our meatballs to be nice and juicy. Now to our beef, I'm gonna be adding in some dried breadcrumbs. I'm also gonna add in a dried Italian herbs mix. I'm gonna season with some salt and pepper. Next thing, I'm gonna be adding in some garlic paste. Next, I'm gonna add in some fresh basil. Now next thing, I've got some Parmesan cheese just in here, some fresh Parmesan cheese. I'm just gonna grate it just in there. And lastly, I'm gonna be adding in just an egg that I've just beaten up. Make sure your hands are clean and you wanna get in there for this because it's all about making the meatballs. You wanna get your hands straight in and work all those ingredients into the beef. So we've got our mixture there guys. Now what I want you to do is just break a piece off and just roll it up in your hands just like that. And this is the size that I like my balls. If you want them bigger, then get them bigger. If you want them smaller, then make them smaller. It's completely up to you. And just keep repeating that process with the rest of the mixture. So our meatballs are done, and what I'm gonna do now is just brown them off. So, browning our meatballs just into a large pan on a low to medium heat. I've got some olive oil. So just as easy as this, I'm just gonna place our meatballs into the pan. Now I'm only gonna be browning them off. I don't wanna cook them all the way through. I just wanna get some nice color on the outside. And I only wanna brown these off for about two minutes. So that's what we're after with our meatballs just browning off on the outside. Now guys, I'm gonna be adding back in our pasta mix to our meatballs. So I'm just gonna be pouring them over just like that. Now, I'm gonna turn the heat down to a low heat. And again, I'm going to simmer this for a further 20 minutes. So while we're just waiting for our meatballs to finish off, I'm going to make a very quick, easy, homemade garlic bread to go with it. So, just into a small bowl, I've got some melted butter. To that, I'm going to add in some fresh basil that I've just chopped up. And of course, I'm going to be adding in some garlic paste to the butter. So, just give that a good mix around. And guys, what I've got here is a Turkish bread that I've just sliced in half. I love this stuff, but you can use any sort of bread that you're after. So what I want you to do, just put this under the griller and toast it. So with our bread toasted, I'm just using a brush and I'm just gonna brush that bread with our garlic, butter and basil mixture. So our garlic bread's done. It's time now to serve this bad boy up. Just to finish it off, I've just got some fresh 
parsley just on the top there and of course I've served it with some pasta. So there you have it. I've recreated my first ever dish that I gave you here on Nico's Kitchen. Let's get stuck into this bad boy. I'm gonna go straight for one of these meatballs. That looks so yummy and it smells wonderful. Let's go. Oh. That's so good. Let's get stuck into this garlic bread. Oh yeah. So I hope you've enjoyed this recreation of a classic Nico dish. All the ingredients are below, so check it out. And I'll see you tomorrow for budget meals. So until then, take care.